Is yeah, BCL yeah, 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 haram? Yeah, it is, it is, it is. That is wrong. But like, what's, what, what can we do about it? But imagine if everyone thought like that, like... If it's certified halal and the place we know it's halal and every, like, and like everyone says it's halal, then why shouldn't I trust it? So I can give you many reasons why you shouldn't trust it. I should assume because Qatar is a Muslim country. You should never assume. You should be sure. Yeah, true. That is. You should never assume anything. Is that so bad for the guy a little? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's good that you I, said that. Man. What? Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. And why aren't you vegan? Well, I just enjoy food to you be honest. Enjoy, I enjoy food too. Yeah, but... But we're not talking about food here. We're talking about like animals being raised and decapitated to eat, yeah? That is wrong. I, I'm, I'm going to say that is wrong. But like, what's, what, what can we do about it? It's a good question. That's why we're here. Like, if I'm vegan, will that help the animals that are still in the... Like, the, the places that are being slaughtered? It'll help the animals that go to the slaughterhouse on your behalf. I'm just one person. If I turn vegan, there's still going to be animals that get slaughtered. I'm just one person. Imagine if everyone thought like that, bro. I'm yeah. just one th person, what can I do? One person can have quite an impact actually, man. If I was to tell you, say, about 200 animals go to the, the slaughterhouse or get tortured and killed for you every year, would that make a difference in your mind? It would a little bit, yeah, because it's, it's cruel. What is your worldview about the world? Do you, are you religious? Do you have uh, a... I'm Muslim. You're Muslim? Yeah. Okay. You see what's happening to animals in the, the, today, yeah. and you think this is wrong? It's wrong because, like, in Islam, the way we should kill them, in a halal way, we should make it painless, and we should hide the blade from the animal, and we should kill, them, kill them from the neck, so it, so it instantly kill them, and they don't feel any pain. So respect for the animal? Yeah, is what Islam if, teaches, if you're yeah? killing it, yeah, respect, respect it, and hide the blade from and it. Why? And why? Why do they matter morally enough for Islam to recognize that they, they suffer and to minimize that suffering. Do you know because what I mean? They, because they are like still beings, they're still living. S sentient. Yeah, yeah they're, they're still conscious. sentient, they can think, they can... All right, so God gave them a brain, functioning nervous system, uh, they get emotions as well, they get scared, they feel happiness. Yeah. All of these things. Yeah, that's why uh, it's sold for us to hide the blade from the animal because it will get scared. Okay, let's say you, you buy animal products from the, the, the supermarket or from wherever you get halal, yeah. Uh, yeah. certified halal meat from. How can you be certain of anything that's happened along the, the, the supply chain to the animals? Factory farm, slaughterhouse, cannot, how can you be we certain? We cannot be certain. Okay. We so cannot. You, so it's your idea that you just trust the halal logo? I mean, if, if it's certified halal and, and the place we know it's halal and, every, like, and like everyone says it's halal, then why shouldn't I trust it? It's I can halal. give you many reasons why you shouldn't trust it. One, if you're eating chickens, most of them are factory farmed in the UK statistically, and they will take those animals and take them to be halal slaughtered and put a halal stamp on it because it's mostly about the slaughter here in the UK and it's not about how they're being raised. And I know you can't cause animals need the suffering in, in Islam. Secondly, you don't know what's going on inside the slaughterhouses because you don't watch animals be slaughtered. You don't know if they're not being slaughtered uh, without seeing the knife, without being in fear. You don't know if they're slaughtering injured animals, if they come from a life of suffering. And I can tell you majority of the time when you're mass producing because the population is so much higher now than it was when the Hadiths were written back in this time. Yeah. The population has grown, so mass production, animals in our unit, unit of production, right? And uh, you're going to have suffering all throughout the industry. Another point is that you don't need to eat animals at all. True. That, is, that is true. So the most compassionate choice... Is to not eat animals, yes. It's, what did the prophet say? He said, uh, if you were to kill as much as even a sparrow unjustly, then you will face uh, the judgment of God or something like this? Something, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not that no, You can kill them for food no, if you know. need to or something like this. But, we don't need to now. But the thing is, in Islam, uh, there, we have a festival, we have a festival like called Eid. It Eid. Is, yeah, yeah, it's Eid. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a must for us, but we should, uh, like, uh, we should kill a goat. It's not mandatory. And, yeah, it's not mandatory, but I think it's like it gives you reward and good deeds. And But you, we don't get the goats from the market, we, we kill it ourselves, like we slaughter it ourselves. Have you done have, it? Uh, I've, my parents have done it, my parents and my uncles, I've seen have them. Have you seen do it done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what did you feel? I mean, it was a bit like... Uh, I was did you feel a bit, right about it? Uh, no, no and like not not right about it. I just got... Um, you felt bad for the goat a little? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's good that you no, said that. Man. What, what should we do? Okay. If we are created by God, yeah, and God gave us a conscience, and when we see an animal that is scared, about to have their throat slashed open, and we feel like that's wrong in our heart, I think we should listen to that. Because it's not mandatory to eat animals in Islam. Yeah. You can be vegan, it's fine. They're I... saying meat is permissible, but back then, now look at the technology, everything's changed. We have alternatives, we have plant agriculture, we have... And being eating vegan, you know it's halal. You yeah. don't have to worry, you know what I'm saying? So as yeah. a Muslim, you can be vegan, and, you can, and that's consistent with your religion. And in fact, it's most consistent because it's the most compassionate, isn't it? Because yeah. you don't have to worry about all this stuff you don't see, and then mindlessly going into the, su the supermarket and buying something that you don't see. If you know the truth and you don't act on it, then you become responsible. Yeah. So if you know the truth about what can possibly be happening to these animals, and you could never, 
you can never you can never be sure, can you? Yeah, you can. And back then, they had one like a lamb out the back, one animal here. They didn't have yeah. factory farms, yeah. mass production yeah. things like this. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I just I just have a question for you. What's okay. your thoughts on vegetarians, the ones that don't eat meat but they eat animal products? Okay. I know eggs and dairy. They're automatically halal. Yeah. Yeah. There's no halal stamp. It's just you can yeah. eat them. They're yeah. permissible. Same yeah. with fish. Yeah. In these industries, these animals now because of mass production, they essentially rape the cow. So they stick their entire arm up their anus to hold the cervix, and they inject them with semen that they get from a bull. It's bestiality happening. That's haram, eh? Yeah. The, of course that is. It's yeah, bestiality yeah, yeah, yeah. haram. It is. It is. They call it artificial insemination, but basically they're jacking off bulls. The, the male animals to get the semen and they inject it in the, the cow, which is bestiality, probably haram, which causes the cow suffering anyway. Then when she's impregnated, they take the calf away, which causes the cow suffering. So she's sad, causes the baby suffering too. If they're boys that don't produce milk, they get killed. If they're females, they get put in confinement away from their mum to be grown for milk as well. And they do this process to keep her producing milk. Yeah, yeah. keep doing it, keep yeah. doing it. Till she can't get pregnant anymore, then she goes to the slaughterhouse where she will be slaughtered non-halal yeah. and be minced up into burgers. Yeah. yeah. So that's the dairy industry. Now, this industry didn't exist when uh, the halal standards were being written. No, it did not. It exists now. It exists now. So yeah. my argument to Muslims is that this industry is haram. And my argument to vegetarians is that it violates their rights. It causes the animal suffering. It's needless and we don't need milk or yeah. eggs. Egg industry is just as bad. Prolonged suffering, they're pushing out egg every day, they die on their faces, they push out all the nutrients, they go to the gas chamber to be killed at the end of it. So the egg industry is, I would say it's also haram, but it's also just immoral. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. Thank so, what are you going to do? Well, you have convinced me to research more about the about the vegan and the, like the factories and all that. Do you think that it's a possibility, or in your mind now, it's a possibility to be vegan, uh, vegan Muslim? Yeah, it's, uh, it is a possibility. I mean, like it has opened my eyes to be a, a, a better. A, like. and you, you always know it's halal unless it's alcohol. You always know vegan is halal. I mean, where I come from, it is like I'm, I'm not from here. I'm, I'm from Qatar. It's a Muslim country. We follow it, uh, and so I'm, I'm, I am like sure it is. Qatar's all got a good big vegan population there too. I never knew that to be honest. Yeah. But I know about the vegan food. That it's like Someone was telling me the other day that Qatar's got a, a lot of vegan food and vegan. I know, but, but they've got factories full of chickens as well. Yeah, of course, but uh, I, I've been to that factory before. They treat the animals, right? Like I've, see, I've seen a tour of the factory of the cows. They, but what I've seen is treating the I'm talking about chickens. Chicken. Have you seen the chicken factories? Uh, I have not. I have not. But like, uh, I should assume because Qatar is a Muslim country. Uh, you should never assume. You should be sure. Yeah, true. That is. You should never assume anything. Yeah. When you have mass production, no matter the country. And you remember, these slaughterhouses are closed doors. We discussed when you seen the lamb be slaughtered, right? Yeah. And how you felt. Mm, yeah. Do we need to do this? Like, I know you can do charity. There are many ways to... To get the deeds, yeah. Many ways. There doesn't have to be this animal. And you know what they do in Eve now? I've seen them all cutting the animals' heads off, leaving their bodies on the yeah, floor, which is haram. That's not the correct way. That's so what they're uh, doing is wrong. But, but anyways, it's, it's, it's needless to do this. You can make other sacrifices, is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. It like, is. especially moving with the times. And what, what happens when there's... Three billion Muslims on Earth. You're going to get all these animals to slaughter for Eden, leave them all there. What about, what about there was ten billion Muslims on? We are We just chop off food to eat. Yeah. Just cut them off to eat and cook them and to eat off because we are hungry. But what if you? We don't throw them. We respect them. We eat all of it and we don't leave anything on our plate. But what if? What my my argument is, if you don't need to, now that you can, because I've been vegan for nearly ten years and everyone can get vegan food and it's better for the Earth, God's Earth, right? Because they they don't have to feed all this. Yeah. feed all these plants to the animals and kill the animals. You'd have yeah. to worry about suffering, right? My argument is if we don't need to do it, then why don't we just make the more compassionate choice, which is to be vegan, which is in alignment with uh, Islam anyway. If you have to face God, you can say, well, I felt I, felt I was giving compassion to the animal. Yeah? Yeah. Because just to give a compassion to an animal is the same as giving compassion to a human. You can just say that? Yeah, I think you can, yeah. Right. There's no reason why you can't be vegan. That's yeah. all. That's all. That's all my argument is. All right. Thank Bless you, you so my friend. Yeah, take, take, just, care. Uh, just, take care, brother. Good, no worries. Bless you, mate. Thank you. I think that one nice. I think he was a bit like taken aback, really, because I'm quite intense. I don't think he had anything to say. I think he was just like...